Hi, today I have another video about population genetics and today I have two multiply choice questions and the first question is why is genetic polymorphism is important for evolution and here is the five answers that you may choose from so you may stop video here try to answer these questions and then you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answers and explanations so our first question has five answers and answer A individual variability provides the raw material for natural selection to act on and B uh, genes cannot mutate unless they are polymorphic C only heterozygous individuals are selected in natural uh, populations D the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium is less likely to be disturbed in polymorphic populations and answer E None of the above, genetic polymorphism is not important to evolution. And I can give you a hint, this is not the answer E. Uh, there is a correct answer, so you have left uh, four answers. And next would be D, the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium is le least likely to be disturbed in polymorphic populations. And this is also not true. Polymorphism doesn't affect hardy weinberg equilibrium, but what does is uh, non-random mating or gene flow into the population or out of the population, and some other uh, factors also. So we can cross out this answer. It is not correct. And next, answer C. Only heterozygous individuals are selected in natural populations. And this is also incorrect answer because uh, uh, homozygous individuals also selected in natural populations. And sometimes uh, homozygous uh, recessive or dominant can be better fit into the environment. And uh, those uh, heterozygosity uh, do uh, affect uh, the population on the overall how it's uh, adapted to the environment, but this word uh, that is only uh, doesn't allow uh, leave us this um, answer as the correct answer because not only homozygous and heterozygous are um, relatively equal uh, to be affected by the environment. So we have to cross out it and. Uh, we left with two answers uh, and answer B genes cannot mutate unless they are polymorphic and this is not true anything can mutate uh, and uh, any uh, DNA sequence uh, can be mutated due to different factors environmental or chemical factors or radiation so this is not correct answer and we left with only one answer Individual variability provides the raw material for the uh, natural selection to act on. So this is our choice and correct answer would be A. So the second question is in population of wildflowers the frequency of the allele for the red flowers was 0 0.8. What was the frequency for the white allele, the only other allele for the flower color? And um, this is very easy uh, question and very easy answer. So uh, all the genes in the environment, or, or all the alleles, um, can be represented with the formula P plus Q equal to 1. Where, for example, P can be uh, frequency of the allele that is dominant, capital A, and Q can be represented with a recessive allele, small a. So if we take all the alleles uh, together, we are going to get one. So in order to find, for example, uh, P, we have just to subtract Q from the 1. So we can answer this question that, uh, for example, P would equal to 1 minus 0 0.8 and answer would be 
0.2. So the correct answer would be D. This is all for today. Thank you for attention. Please subscribe to my videos that I post almost every day. And please uh, write your comments, suggest uh, new videos that I should make. And uh, please thumbs up if you like this video. Goodbye.